Recently, ManyChat released the new protected templates feature that gives bot builders more control over their templates that they are sharing with other pages. Hey there everyone, my name is Kelly Noble Mirabella and in this video I'm going to break down what the different levels are of protection and how you can use this new template protection feature inside of ManyChat. Let's start with talking about the different protection levels. The first level is protected template. You're going to want to turn this on to protect your intellectual property from automatic copying. These templates can't be cloned to any other page or become part of a new template. So if you build a bot for someone and protect it, the client can't copy it or try to sell it themselves. Level two, locked template. Enable this level if you want to be the only person who can view and edit the template contents. It helps to keep your IP completely locked and make sure that your customers Customers, even your teammates will not mess up your automations. The flows can be active on your client's account, but they can't see how it works. The pipes, if you will, are on lockdown and remain behind the curtain. Level three is remote control. This allows you to track pages your template was installed on and disable the content processing remotely. Also, it can be done automatically through the API. This gives you the ability to track your template and shut it down remotely even if you don't have access to the page it was installed on. Nifty, right? Yeah! This is great if you want to allow for editing and access to the flows for a client, but if the client cuts you out of the picture, you can cut them out of your template. Creating a template and turning on these protection features is super easy. Let me show you how to get it done over in ManyChat. All right, so the first step is you're going to go down here to your templates and go to the blue button in the middle, go to my templates. At the top right, you're gonna click on new templates and then select the account in which you want to pull the templates from. Where are the templates at? Select that account. Now select all of the documents, all the flows, anything you wanna include in your template that you're gonna be creating and then scroll up and click on next. Now you're going to be able to add these fields where it will actually allow you to make it easy to onboard people when they install the template and they can add like their company information, whatever field you want to add to make that onboarding process easier for them. This is where you can kind of add those and add those pre-filled values and then click next. Now you want to name your template and if you'd like you can add an avatar. Uh, right now we're going to kind of skip over that and we're going to get right to the meat and potatoes and go to protected templates. This is the first step in installing those protected templates. So in order to see the other options, you have to turn on protected templates and then you have lock for editing and remote control and all that good stuff. And then once you have your template protections on how you want, we're gonna go to create template. And now the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is the difference between a permanent link and a single use link. So a permanent link we can have and we could copy that and send it out to everyone and it doesn't expire and it's kind of open for business. If we wanted to say, make it so that only one person could use a link at a time, we wanna protect that. You can go to single use link and then you're going to generate a single use and copy that. Once that link is used, it can only be used once. You'll have to generate another link for someone else to use it. As you can see, it is now easy to add levels of protection to your messenger bot templates so that you can rest assured that your hard work will not be stolen or abused. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel as we'll be bringing even more tutorials and how to's to the ManyChat channel in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time here on the ManyChat channel.